Hey guys, this is going to be another really quick BIM plugin highlight about a new plugin that I just became aware of, and it's called Telescope, and it's exclusively for NeoVim. And the idea behind Telescope is that it's supposed to replace basically your FZF, your RepGrep, or your every other sort of ability to find and search and select things basically. So um, it's really extensible, but in this video I'm just going to show you a quick highlight and then Maybe in a later video, I'll, I'll talk about customizing it further with custom um, custom logic and stuff. So let's let's just get into it, I guess. Do you need uh, NeoVim Nightly for this? Um, if you want to use grep functionality, you also need rip grep installed. Once you have those installed, the um, the GitHub page suggests installing it in Wimplug using these three things. Um, I also installed rip grep and FCF just to show a comparison as well. Um, and I'll, I'll compare this to FCF as well and see how well this works. Then you can set up some basic key bindings like um, slash ff, oh, and the default is slash ff for finding files, slash ft for live grep, slash fb for buffers, and slash fh for help tags. Okay, so let's let's take a look at how this works actually. Um, okay, so I'm in my home directory right now and uh, somewhere in there I have a file called main.cpp in a tutorial, in an MMO tutorial folder somewhere, and I, I want to open it like as fast as possible, right? So, and you'll see the telescope is slightly slower than FCF itself, so I can open up my VI, and then I can just do slash FF to find stuff, and in my case, I am going to, and you can see that it's also, like, it basically shows everything that's there right now, so um, I'm going to search for main.cpp, and you can see that it pulls up all the main.cpp files. And one great thing about um, Telescope is that you'll notice that the syntax highlighting matches the exact file. So keep an eye on the syntax highlighting in the preview window. Um, I select it and it's exactly the same. Now, if I do the same thing with FCF, I can do main.cpp and you'll notice that this um, syntax highlighting window slightly different from the actual syntax highlighting. So that's that's one benefit I've noticed. Um, I haven't been able to fix that in FCF preview. Let's take a look at some of the key bindings and stuff that does it require, right? So slash ff to find and main.cpp. And now if I want to navigate through these things, I can do control N and control P to go up and down. So that works like regular. Um, if the, if the rendered window is, let's open one that's a lot longer, right? So if the rendered window is actually a lot longer, you can use Control D and Control U to scroll. Oh, my screen key is in the way. Let's use a bigger one. Hold on. Yeah, this one's big. Okay, so yeah, you can see that I can use Control Up and Control Down to scroll up and down, basically, um, inside the preview window as well. Um, once I want to open it, I can open it up in a vertical split with Control V horizontal split with control X and in a new tab with control T. And I can just use enter to enter the selection and uh, to select it and open it in the current buffer in this case. Um, and that works perfectly fine. Now there's some basic pickers. Um, the full list you can see at the GitHub page itself, but I'm going to go through the ones that um, are selected here. So let's say I then I open up my Vim wiki and I'm doing stuff here. But uh, I remember, oh, I have something maybe in a buffer somewhere. So let's take a look at slash FB to take a look at the buffers. And you'll notice I have a few Vim wiki ones. I open two main.cpp files. And again, I can use control NB to go up and down here. Um, that works perfectly fine. I can do live grep. So I'm not going to do gr rip grep here in the home directory um, because it's going to be very large. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to, I don't know, and inside this, I'm going to reopen Vim, and I, here I'm going to do slash fg to rip grep, and let's say a render window, right? So it's it's now doing a grep here, and I can it searches and it finds it um, slash slash fg, sorry, and I can it also like pulls up all the debug and CMake cache files. We'll find out how to exclude those. Right, and RipGrep does uh, use basically the gitignore file in Git repositories. So if I exclude the debug folder here, I can basically just do uh, in the gitignore file, and then if I do fg and then search for stuff, you can see that it's excluding stuff from um, 
my debug folder, right? So, and in that slash ff, you can see that it's also, so telescope is also respecting the git ignore file in my project directory. So even for find files, it's, it's ignoring those, and that's really useful. And with FCF, you can see that it's it's not really respecting that. And obviously, you can configure FCF to ignore certain directories, but the the simple unification here inside Telescope is really great to see. Help tags is useful. I can just do slash fh, and I want yeah, the WinWiki help file. Um, you can see I can take a look at that, and that's really nice. So there are other pickers in the GitHub page here. Um, and you can see the full list here. There's the ones that I think I'll find useful are old files, tags here for C tags based folders, and finally, um, uh, I feel like the man pages is going to be useful as well. I haven't set up a key binding for this yet, but I can manually trigger it with man pages. Finally, there is LSP and tree sitter pickers that are useful. I haven't set up my LSP, NeoVim LSP, and tree sitter yet. Um, I haven't been able to get it to work with COC just yet, so. Um, I'll, I'll come up with a new video when I have that, that working, either with COC or with LSP and TreeSitter. Basically, it for this uh, this plugin, it's it's really useful and it's really extensible. And I'll start getting into it. I've, like I said, I've just found out about it. Um, I do want to give a quick um, demo of the speed, in terms of how it's it is slightly slower than FCF for a very large directory. So, if I'm in my root directory and I'm going to find a file called Telescope. Um, dot markdown right which is the this file here that's being rendered here so with just them I can just do telescope.md and that works fine um, with slash ff if I search for telescope.md you'll notice that there is some delay here and this might not be great that's basically it and I'll leave you guys with the funny thing I found in the help files which is if I do slash fh I can search for telescope and then there is this the prime engine apparently so uh, there's a help file for the Primogen users, I guess. This means Prim the Primogen is going to be making a video on this. Um, so, fingers crossed. I I'm excited to see that as well. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.